All right, welcome to the fourth and final podcast from Chapter 8. Uh, in this very short podcast, we're going to cover the factors that will affect the rate of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. In other words, what items will make photosynthesis either speed up or slow down? All right, the first one is the amount of water available. Now, if you remember from earlier podcasts, we had the overall reaction of photosynthesis. Uh, remember, it was 6 CO2 plus 6 molecules of water. And the presence of light will yield one molecule of glucose, C6H12O6, plus six molecules of oxygen as a waste product. So you're going to remember on this side of the equation, these are the reactants. And then over here you have the products. And any time that you limit one of the reactants, you're going to make the whole equation go a lot slower. Now... The carbon dioxide, that's just kind of out there in the atmosphere. Um, don't have to worry about ever running out of it. In fact, in this era of global warming, there's more and more of this stuff out there anyway. The limiting factor whenever it comes to photosynthesis is always the amount of water. Uh, you see this in the late summer when it doesn't rain very much. Um, your yard will start to lose its green color because the plant is trying to limit the amount of photosynthesis to conserve water. All right. So uh, lots of plants have things like a waxy coating that will keep the water from escaping. Um, some of these uh, leaves will be kind of furry. That will help increase the amount of humidity around it, and that will keep the, the water from evaporating. All right. The next factor will be the temperature. Uh, warmer is better, but you also have a point where if you get too hot, it will slow down the rate because the enzymes will denature. And so you got to remember what the word denature means. And this happened in back in Chapter 2 when we were talking about proteins and whatnot. Denature is a fancy word that means change shape. And so all of these enzymes that help control all the steps in the light-dependent reaction and in the Calvin cycle, these enzymes are made out of protein. And once you reach a certain temperature, these proteins will change shape or denature, and that will stop it. All right. So warmer is always better. But once you reach a point where it gets too hot, it will stop. And the third one is light intensity. Once again, brighter is better, but you can reach what is known as the saturation point. At this point, it doesn't matter how much light you add, the rate of photosynthesis will remain constant. And so you can only make it so bright, and after that, it doesn't matter how much brighter you make it. All right, so these are all in color. Make sure you know each and one of these. ATL, amount of water, temperature, and light intensity. All right, our final slide deals with two graphs. And this one deals with increasing light intensity. So over here on this axis, you have increasing rate of photosynthesis. And over here, you have increasing light intensity. So notice as I add more and more light, the rate of photosynthesis increases until it reaches the saturation point where it doesn't matter how much more light you add, it stays the same rate. Because these chloroplasts can only do photolysis and produce ATP and NADPH only so fast that it doesn't matter how much extra light you get it. All right, over here we show you the effect of temperatures. And as you increase your temperature, the rate of photosynthesis gets faster, 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 faster. But once you start getting up a little hot, it's going to begin the denature. Um, human body temperature is right around 37 degrees Celsius. So that's going to be right here. So once you start getting up into that 70 degree, 80 degree range, some of these enzymes will begin to fall apart and potentially uh, your photosynthesis can drop. All right, but once you get up in the hundreds, for sure, this would be like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, So pay attention to the saturation point. And remember what we mean by denature. Denature, once again, means that the enzymes fall apart and they stop to work. All right, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to stop up at the Genius Bar. And remember, you can always, always review these podcasts to get extra help before you participate in your celebration of knowledge.